All right, guys, brief interruption in the podcast for a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving goals, possibly a bad breakup or the loss of a loved one? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is also available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account at any time and send a message to your therapist. You'll get a timely and thoughtful response, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it quick and easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is also available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily at betterhelp.com forward slash reviews. There's no shame in reaching out for help. So visit betterhelp.com forward slash wide open. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. So special offer for Life Wide Open listeners, get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash wide open. Back to the podcast. What exactly does having nuts on your chin sound like? Are we recording? Yeah. Dude. We are. Balchinians okay. from We're Men in it. Black. You know when they're... Yeah. I that, could see Evan That's doing what it that. sounds like. <laughs> doing what? Men in Black having balls on his chin? That, oh, but also... Sorry, that, was, that was my bad. I, had, I pushed the wrong button on the board. Oh, so you weren't recording, Ken? No, we were, but I, had, I bumped the button where it's only you. And Jamie, you what? can't be what do you mean? bumping buttons back there, bud. So my mic wasn't on? No, no yours was the, the only, only one, one on. Oh, well, I'm so, Okay, well, anyways, we're talking about how Evan has a voice for the radio. And possibly, I think, also like a Disney animated film. I the main <laughs> character. I think I could pull that off. Hey, could you speak into the mic, though? I can try. Holy shit. The voice of an angel. <laughs> we have Evan Chef. Dude Evan, bro, on the podcast today. A special guest appearance. I am honored to be here. A true definition of special. Like short bus special. <laughs> no. Well, what is exactly that? is no. this definition you speak of, Mike? I just love Evan. I think this needs to be said, starting this podcast out, being that Evan's on... On uh, not, I wouldn't say the hot seat today because it's more of just a boys podcast and special guest Evan Chef, dude Evan bro, as you guys know from the videos. CJ, you're missing a T, bud. So I was thinking too. That actually is that's a it, disgrace. Yeah, if I have Evan on tea time. Evan, could someone throw me a tea? That is actually pretty fucked up. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. To think I was trying to drink water. I'm in disappointed. The, in the presence of Evan. It might be ten o'clock p.m. On a Thursday. On a Thursday night, but... I've worked 13 hours today. Yeah, I'm... Probably so a little longer. I think I'm starting to become delusionally tired. No, this is good stuff. It's Hey, Ben, I have one thing to say to you. Actually, all of you. Okay. And I want you to take this to the heart. It's a long, long way, way to, to the top, top if you want to rock, rock and roll. roll. Right. How did I know That's you right. were going to say that? That's right. Well, it's my new catchphrase because it's so true. It is. I saw it was your bio as well. Yeah. Congratulations. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, you've been commenting it on everyone's well, uh, I just photos. think I just think some people don't think that. And, I, I mean, it's just it's a fact of the matter. So I mean, I wanna, let's get, I want to fact check them. Start calling them out. Who Who doesn't think that? A lot of people. Ben, we're not going to name names on this podcast, but I'm just saying a lot of people don't think it's a long way to the top. You're not talking about Jamie back there, are you? Oh, hell no. No, Jamie understands it. No, 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 none of the people in my crew. But I'm, I'm picturing saying. like people in the rap game. They're like, it's a long way to the top if you want to get in hip hop. <laughs> no, no, just rock and roll. Exactly. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of you saying that, you know, you might get copywritten. No, you, fuck. No, 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 listen. I know listen. I got the voice of an angel, but not like that. <laughs> no, so so I say that because there's a YouTuber called uh, uh, Ami in the Hellcat. Yeah, I saw that. He's getting, uh, I want the uh, most five five hundred five hundred years in federal prison for That's selling cool. copywritten content. Granted, he sold like thirty million dollars worth of copyright. He content. made thirty million himself. Yeah, alleged. Okay, yeah. that's that is kind of a fucking. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he deserves that many years, but he, he clearly was doing something wrong. Exactly. That's what I. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. But then he was like making YouTube videos about like the FBI uh, doing like, you know, like investigating him. And he was just like using it as clickbait. And then they're just like, yo, you owe us $30 million and you're going to prison for the rest of your he's life. clickbaiting the fact he's getting clicks off of the FBI investigating him. This guy's a businessman, <laughs> <laughs> but also a dumbass because now he's serving the he's doing the time for more than the crime. Yeah. So just with that being said, be careful with, you know, singing ACDC lyrics. They might come after you. Jesus, dude. You're right. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just, I don't know how I'll just on. I'll do it in the least melody way I possibly can. OK, Evan, what's up? Are you uh, what? Let's tell the. The people, the occasion, why you happen to be here on a Thursday night. Um, We're going to go on a trip out to Gold Creek, ride some dirt bikes. and uh, Dirt bikes? Drink some teas probably, hang out with David. It's going to be a good time. So I found out a little fun fact about Evan tonight on the car ride home. You're afraid of airplanes or flying? Yeah. To be I, specific. I hate airplanes. It's terrifying. It's so shocking to me because you are... Easily one of the most extreme people I know. When it when it just comes to motorized vehicles, like it if I didn't know you, actually I do know you and it seems like you have no fear. He's a maniac. So I'm very surprised to hear that you're afraid of flying. Like where does that come from? Why? Are you afraid of heights? Um, not really scared of heights. I don't like to uh not be in control of the situation. Like yeah. I hate roller coasters. I mean, airplanes, I hate riding passenger in a car. Like, even if I trust the driver and I know they're going to kill it, I still don't want to be sitting in the passenger seat. I just, I don't trust anybody. (laughs) If Evan's going out, he wants to do it on his own, on his own mind, on his own time. I think a lot of people are actually like that. Do you foresee yourself ever giving up like that, that sense of, of control? Like, you know, if you do it enough where you're like, okay, I'm not going to die. Yeah, I mean, I'll still, like, do it. I'm just going to hate it when I do it. Like, I'll fly. Or you're I'll ride you're on terrified the whole way? Yeah, I'll, I'll hate it, but I'll still do it just because you got to. Want right. to go cool places, you just got to get on the plane. Like, I'll deal right? with it. That's true. Well, you don't have <laughs> How long to. You could drive. It, it would suck, but yeah. How long has it been since you've been on a plane? Uh, 10, 12 years. <laughs> Holy Evan. shit. You Damn. know what's weird, though, is I feel like the craziest people... Like, the craziest people that do the craziest things are like you. And I, I think it's because you know when shit goes wrong, like, the consequences. Because you've, you've probably made the wrong decision once or twice. No, I've never made a bad decision. Uh, well, maybe hypothetically, you have a couple friends that maybe have. <laughs> Allegedly. Evan, Evan always <laughs> is right Evan decision. ain't no narc. Yeah. <laughs> They're so, not safe So you're like, but. listen, if, if, if I'm going to get hurt or go out on this i want it to be my mistake not yours oh definitely yeah, yeah. i want to take myself out i don't want someone right. to do it for that's me that's understandable i can i can i can get behind that i i feel the same way i normally don't hop in the maverick <laughs> Dude, with any of the boys evan like starts to get old and he's just like old aj ain't taking me out i'm taking me out <laughs> <laughs> for real <laughs> gold creek third annual that's actually where we met yeah it is i mean it's not a, that well, was yeah, well the, the, the car trip. ride the car ride out there but that that is how we became friends was that trip <laughs> going out to cold gold gold creek idaho for those of you that don't know it's a it's basically the mecca of dirt biking in idaho it's like insanely hard single track riding and it's i, I don't know it's just like really good riding there's like a camp there you can rent bikes I, i'm not giving a plug or anything i'm just stating what it is right so it's like gnarly four, too. three years ago or four years ago now Three years ago. Three years ago, our friend David uh, works with 509. He was like, hey, we have an athlete that rides for us, and and we give him gear and and everything. Is it cool if he... What? He was way more than that, than an athlete to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And and, and, a a childhood best friend. Right, and I grew up with him, and it was one of my best friends, right? Super cool guy. You guys will get along great. But is it cool if he comes with on this trip, who's was kind of like a 509 trip, and rides out to Idaho with you guys? From Minnesota. And we were like, yeah, hell yeah. Any friend of yours, David, is a friend of ours. Evan shows up, seemed like a nice guy. Didn't say a single word for probably 11 hours of the trip, except for one, one sentence. Ryan almost pulled out in front of a semi, and Evan goes, there's a semi. (laughs) (laughs) Other than that, silent. I was like, damn, this guy's a... He's kind of a stone cold killer. You didn't know what to think about him. Or was 
me i didn't know what to i didn't know what to think about you but now that i reflect on it more important you probably just didn't know what to think about us what were your thoughts ah uh, i mean it was just hopping in a truck full of dudes i didn't know and i was just trying to suck it all in and fit in whoa, I whoa, so, that. So what all, what you ben <laughs> you are what you, well, you and michael were in the back seat together so and cody and cody bro so so evan rides out 12 hours in the car probably said five words to us which was cool i mean we were, we were like i'm sure he's a nice guy he's probably just shy and then all black metal militia shirt your typical shit yep Yep. So now that I know, now that I know Long you, hair. now that I know you, it, it is a little weird. Like I can't imagine you just being silent because you're a pretty friendly, open guy, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, normally so, I can't like, shut up, like, so I don't actually, know what I was doing then. What was going through your brain of like, who are these guys? Because I'd assume you didn't know us. Like David was like, "Hey, just ride out with a group of YouTubers and just show up here and and just ride, hop in their truck." And ride 12 hours with them, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I knew maybe a couple weeks ahead of time. So then I checked out your guys' vids. No hate. I just didn't know prior to no, that. No okay. hate. Yeah, just, yeah, that's okay. I wasn't exposed to it. Don't and then I, you, I checked it out. I saw Ryan like tip over going across a little pile of rocks. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I getting into? Oh, that's right. <laughs> the warm-up vid. Yeah, the warm-up These vid. guys suck. Yeah. But no, I was just kind of taking it all in and just trying to uh, fit in. I don't know. I didn't want to be like. Sticking out, being weird or whatever, and oh so, really? Something tells yeah. me this is that's by far not the craziest uh, situation that Evan put himself in. You know, as far as that, I mean, he literally wow. was. He no, was just, Evan loves to get weird. Yeah, he's yeah, just hopping sure. in the truck <laughs> with some homies to go dirt biking, or soon to be homies. But yeah, I was like, I'm sure it was pretty tame, yeah, comparatively. Yeah, you're chilling. Well, David was like, yeah, he's a good rider, and and if we're being honest here, I didn't know much about you either, Evan, and so I went into it. Hey, he's probably a good rider. First five minutes, this, this dude away. is wheeling up stuff that most of us can't even get up. And then you would get to the top, hike down, and ride all of our bikes up. And like, I was like, holy shit, this guy's actually a rider, like a really, really good rider. And uh, you, you still blow me away. <laughs> we made eye contact when i said that oh my no no, no. Gosh. all right all right that was it was a little fucked up <laughs> no no you still you still never cease to amaze, amaze me every time i see you get on a bike like last last uh winter when you hopped on the <clears throat> the ice bike and the first corner you came in doing 70 and you like bar drag bar drug whatever it'd be that was insane bro Easy. <laughs> That's the thing, dude. Because we, we've never seen anything like that. Yeah. You know, we've seen ice tires. We know ice tires, but we've never seen uh, a true ice racer. Because you spend a lot of time with studded tires in the winter, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's just fun. And once you do it, you just want to keep pushing it and do something you haven't done before and try to get, like, the excitement or the adrenaline rush out of it. Are you just chasing the adrenaline rush? Definitely. Always? Always. No matter if it's on bike or like anything, like would you consider yourself like an adrenaline junkie? I mean, yeah, definitely. Like, to like a sick I mean, point. it sounds kind of corny, like the not, adrenaline not, junkie, yeah, yeah, but no, like, definitely yeah. like chasing that rush. Like it's like the biggest rush I think is when you almost wad. Like you don't even do something cool. You just get, you're going fast and you get so sketchy and you almost die and you just get a rush and it, you're just like shaking and I feel like, like that's I, the only way you ride. Just like every say. time I watch you it's like you're just on the edge of crashing the whole time. <laughs> and I don't necessarily chalk that up as a bad thing, but yeah, I was going to say I've never seen someone almost die more than you. Like hands down. Jamie's got a video pull it, playing in the back here. It's a video of Evan going across the ice. Just uh, and then just the gone. Holy crap. Gone. Evan, what bike was that? Ah, uh, that was my old Honda. You it sold old... it after that. No, no, I still have it. <laughs> I still have it. Wait, you still have that? Oh, yep. I, was, I was just going to ask. Did you get it back? But wow, that's your black 450? Yep, yeah. We, wow. had to, we had to fish it out of there. Uh, I rebuilt it afterwards. But, I can't believe uh, that hasn't happened to us on Evan, all the ice videos that we filmed. Hey, there's always this season. We're always just riding the edge on the ice videos like Evan's whole life. <laughs> this would be a good time to address it. There were so many comments like, what were you thinking? You could see the ice was terrible. Okay, this was in the spring, in March, 
and the entire lake looked like there were spots of open water. Everywhere there were fish houses and ice holes. It, it looked like open water everywhere. And I drove across a thousand spots that looked like that. It just so happened this one was open water. Honest mistake. <laughs> I'm not Com- stupid. Common it was mistake. Everyone watching's mistake. made it. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I was like, if it ever happens to us, we'll call you. Because I shouldn't even say if. It will eventually. Yeah. yeah. We just it's, love that thin ice. If you play fire enough, you're going to get burned. If you play with That is the unfortunate enough. truth. I, I, I'd I, just like to say, I, I, I truly believe that Evan probably is the best rider that I know. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Who do you know that's a better rider than Evan? No, I... I Probably don't like personally. No, personally, yeah. I you just, guys must not know very many people. <laughs> well, we don't. That I, I mean, that, that might be lie. true. <laughs> that might be true. Yeah. So when did you? Because you didn't start riding until Til you late twenty. I remember you saying, "Yeah, How the f- right around 20. So that's cool. That's fucking. That's cool. You're just talented. I think realistically in extreme sports, but also more so on bikes because because you kind of had early beginnings on on bmx you were telling me yeah i mean my growing up my parents were always like against motorized stuff they never why no bikes why i uh, probably it, just thought it was dangerous they were just weren't into it i don't know they I knew guess. what evan would do if they put them on yeah, it could have been yeah, expensive they were, probably, they were probably just scared for my own right. safety that but, makes sense makes sense but yeah i mean it was just uh always bmx bikes skateboards scooters um so I was always like doing that kind of stuff, but uh, never with a motor. Right. So it almost prepared you. Would they you were say, a bit of a gateway drug to your dirt biking you, addiction. You got onto the bike because, I mean, just before this podcast, we all, we all went out to eat, and I was in the car with my girlfriend. We're leaving, and they were waiting for you guys. You were on the pit bike track, and you came and like the whole time I was watching you from the road, waiting for you guys to come in. It was like. Every single thing you were doing was on the edge of you crashing. And and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, <laughs> man, Evan's real good on a bike. That, Const- that's all it's I constant entertainment. It is. Like, it was honestly really entertaining. Even you just ride in a straight line because it's like you would slam on the brakes, go completely sideways, and then fucking swing it back. And I don't know, man. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> yeah. You got a real knack for it, though, I think. <laughs> you know, Evan, I never thought about this until i thought about it but (laughs) dude i'm literally working on three brain cells tonight i'm sorry everyone listening but the first video that we filmed with you every time i'd pan the camera to you you just go i don't know dirt bikes (laughs) (laughs) that's where dirt bikes came i always thought it was just funny i was like man this guy's hilarious he just always has like the funniest one-liners and they just so happen to always be dirt bikes and then i came to realize that you get a little scared when we point the camera on you oh dude i'm the worst it's like not anymore though i freeze up no i'm pretty bad still i think i think i would i think you're like a lot better than than most yeah i would give yourself a lot more i'd say you're like gold but that like is when funny. When you're around, there's always something good to be yeah. had, at least for the camera. <laughs> like when we first got to know you, you I guess you were shy, but we were like, gosh, Evan's so funny. So it's like as someone who films their whole life every day, it's hard not to stick a camera in your face. Yeah. So uh, you you do well. You ever feel like we uh, exploit you for thumbnails? <laughs> your bike? <laughs> Dude. That bike is a good thumbnail. It's no one best. recognizes me. They recognize mm-hmm. the bike. Is that the bike from Sea Boys? Yeah, I am too, but yeah, that <laughs> is the they bike. They recognize the yeah. bike? The oh, neon, yeah. the orange? Really? Yeah. So people come up to you on the streets and will say like, hey, is that the bike from... No, well, necessarily when you're on the events. streets. I got <laughs> to have the bike with me. Right. <laughs> right. But when you're with the bike, they ask if that's the bike. Yeah, yeah. They'll take pictures no of shit. the bike, not me. They like they just take pictures of the bike dude you have no idea how many kids now with the t-bike also but either my ktm or the t-bike the kids will be so stoked the bike will be in the back of my truck at walmart and they'll be taking pictures of the bike that's really exciting yeah that's pretty cool well that makes sense though because because quite frankly you have been on a lot of viral video thumbnails we should start calling you thumbnail (laughs) (laughs) the whack is nickname toenail from when I blew my toe off on the snowmobile. <laughs> that too. You did bust your toenail off when yeah. you hit that jump. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's funny. You have more air on our pit bike track on a snowmobile than anyone around, and you blew out your fucking toe. <laughs> well, it makes sense when you're landing flat. 
Well, I mean, I should cut my toenails more than once a year, <laughs> that too. too. That'd probably help. That'd probably yeah. help. Yeah. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Man, so it's just not my body. Leave that one in. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't want you to Jeez. ever feel like you're being, like, exploited. Um, obviously, so that's why obvi- we- obviously, you're one of our best friends, but, you, dude, you're just so entertaining to film. And you make great content, and the bike is so recognizable at this point. It makes great thumbnails. But that's also why we wanted to get you a, a T bike. You know, like we wanted to show our appreciation for you a T bike, yeah. <laughs> a pit bike, bike <laughs> twisted T wrap. You know, but we want, like, we appreciate you, bro. Dude, I appreciate you guys. I, I love hanging out. I really appreciate the T bike. I mean, that thing is sick. It's still running. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Throw over the clip of uh, Evan wheeling today, dude. We ripped and. Dude, I don't even know. It's just, it makes me literally so happy to see you. Cause like your last bike, you ripped on too, of course, but this thing's dialed. It's got a clutch. It's a lot faster than our Hondas, that's for sure. The 110L yeah. is. Oh, no, that thing rips. I remember thinking the, the first thought that we had was when we were trying to film the pit bikes at the playground video, which is also a one point, I mean, it's a over a million view video. And, uh, and your bike kept breaking in the process of it which was like making filming a little bit harder, but I didn't really care so much about that. I was just like, God damn, like Evan's so good on a pit bike or just dirt bikes in general. Why does he have a bike that keeps breaking? Because so, I'm poor. I don't well, know you about ride that. the shit out I of it, I think it's dude. because you, clap you, it out. you beat the hell out of the thing. But well, I'm like, too. we need to at least get him something that can last him the next four months <laughs> before it's clapped out again. <laughs> well, that's a good time frame, four months. Well, with the way Evan rides things, <laughs> exactly. he rides them to the maximum. Well, I cracked the case on it like the third day I rode it. You did? Ours? All those yeah. damn stunts you're doing. No yep. shit. You cracked the case? Yeah, I put the aftermarket foot pegs on it, and I crashed doing a wheelie. And it, the foot peg folded into the case, cracked cracked the case, drained all the oil out. Yeah. Um, I drove it with no oil in it, apparently, but... Fixed, How many teas did you have? How many Apparently. teas did you have during that? I mean, I would never drink teas and ride, but um, allegedly <laughs> a half a dozen. <laughs> Jesus. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. You know I love Manscaped because they offer the best tools plus solutions for the big three odor zones, your body, butt, and balls. They just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof electric trimmer, and now you can get the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase their new Performance 4.0 package. This is an all-in-one kit that includes all the tools to perfect your grooming experience from your morning shower to the late night be ready for anything moments the lawnmower 4.0 has these replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built-in led light to help you trim with confidence after you're done shaving be sure to apply the manscaped crop preserver ball deodorant a quick absorbing clear drying moisturizer lotion for all day protection for the midday refresher, be sure to pack your Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera and anti-inflammatory properties. Trust me, your balls will thank you. Manscaped is so much more than a ball trimmer company. The new Performance Package 4.0 Bundle now includes the new Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Trimmer. This thing is game changer. Pulling out nose hairs hurts more than you nicking your balls. <laughs> when you opt in for the full Performance Package 4.0 kit, you get the biggest bang for your buck. You can enroll in their peak hygiene plan and get ongoing replenishments of your favorite products delivered straight to your door hassle-free. For a limited time, you can also get not one, but two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts when you use promo code wide open at checkout. Join the Manscaped movement today. Man maintenance for the modern gentleman. Your balls and your body, well, thank you. So you guys are going to Gold Creek. Is I mean, if you're a dirt bike rider, more so looking like trail rider, but an advanced trail rider, this is probably the gnarliest shit you can get yourself into. In the United States? Something like that. Because so David said that he wanted to go to the top of Pack Saddle this time around. So, like, I, I'm this is news to me as of, like, today. But Pack Saddle is, like, the hardest of the hard to the peak. It's like, oh, we're going to conquer Pack Saddle today. Honestly, I don't know if I'm prepared. But uh, now you guys know. I don't know if are you prepared. It's, it's going to be fucking hard. Yeah, it's going to suck. I mean, so, so just to be clear, uh, for the viewers, obviously, Ben... 
Micah, Evan, and Ryan are the only people going to Gold Creek. Ken and I are staying back just because, I mean, we just don't really ride like them. Uh, well, Ryan's going. Yeah, I said Ryan, didn't I? Yeah, but Ryan... Ryan's going, exactly. Yeah, but Ryan doesn't even ride dirt bike. Yeah, so that that's my point. He's he's really putting it out there for that, so you got to throw some respect. He's he going to the gnarliest ride oh, in the country. Yeah. No, yeah, seriously. He doesn't ride dirt bike. Ryan is laying it out for the boys on that one. And he always has. Like, yeah. it's like He's came on every trip with us, and I love that. Is literally the only time he rides a dirt bike. Once a year at, in the hardest terrain ever. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. He doesn't even no own sense. one. You he doesn't know? even own one. Yeah, it's not even like, oh, yeah, let me get a little feel for, like, because he took your bike one year, the first year. He just, it was he didn't even, I guess he, like, he did. He rode it one it. day, yeah. I mean, yeah. he was hard on it. We, it's were all, right. we were all hard on it. Well, right, no, I don't blame you. Hard not I don't me. give a fuck. But, it, yeah, it came back bent. I remember that. <laughs> it was like, I, a yeah, I was like, what bike? is the what definition of bent? bent? I'm just picturing, yo, <laughs> like, my I, bike is bent, It was dude. never the same, the same. Well, yeah, because he threw it off like 14 cliffs. Bro. Yeah, it was like, I remember immediately, I like, I like was on, I was like, why? Like, it, it was like, this was bent, but also like the, I was looking at like the, uh, I don't know that, what do you want to call it? The air, what's it called? Cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't oh, the radiator? radiator. The radiator. God damn. Yeah, um, he definitely did the air tweak that. Yeah. No, the radiator yeah, was, was like fucking this way. Yeah. Nothing lined up, and I was like, oh, this thing has been through some shit. But I didn't care because <laughs> I told him going in, I said, Ryan, I hope you total my bike, but I hope you're okay. Speaking of, of like the busted up bikes and shit, did you guys see the video of uh, the New York City mayor running over all those dirt bikes? Oh, did you yeah. see it, Evan? I did. I, Evan, we it might have so, to that was so blindfold, dumb. Evan. You're going to cry, I think, Evan. <laughs> Listen up. Here we go. TV riders in New York City, this is the noise they like to hear. But Evan for likes Bill that. Blasio and the NYPD, this is the noise they like uh. to hear. Oh, These dirt bikes are dangerous. A kid, a senior citizen could be in danger. This... Yeah, if you put a senior citizen on a dirt bike, they will be in danger. Loud and fast ATVs, dirt bikes, and scooters. Last year, the NYPD scooters and crushed some 500 Dude, there's a Coleman mini bike in there. <laughs> that, that's a legit moped. That is a moped. You're right, Ken. Could you could you keep playing the video though? This year alone, and we're only in September, we did over a thousand. So this year. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're going to be in a ballpark of 2,500 dirt bikes that we have taken off the street. <laughs> I love how they're talking this numbers like, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking for 3,000 this year. <laughs> <laughs> He's just mad bike. he can't run the foot brake. Right? That's his problem. He doesn't <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, he Evan, can't drop back. There's nothing wrong he with not knowing how to back. run the foot brake, bro. <laughs> whoa. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Dude, you, yeah. Does you that got, hurt you a little bit, Evan? It really does. <laughs> it's un completely unnecessary. What are, dude, would, we got to get you in the pack. Like, Zach goes, get you in the pack of Philly. Dude, you have no idea how bad I want to get out there. We can make it happen. Let's cut it up. Let's make it happen. Dude, let's do it. Because you, you, you could actually it. hold your own. I'm like, the rest of us about, would look like, like safety. idiots. I'm not really worried. Like, so as if you can't chilling, wheelie, and I'm, I'm, and I'm speaking from, like, way. in the pack, like, I can't. Like, none of us could hold our own besides Evan. Well, Two-stroke Mike, you could actually probably do it. No, you definitely could yeah, hold your own. you do it. I, I wasn't going to say it because then you guys would be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway. Then say it. Yeah. No. All right. Well, I can hold up in the pack. Whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> but, but uh, like... If you can't wheelie, then you just don't. And then you're good. You just yeah, chill, you ride, yeah, you, you take videos. When but, you got fucking four bikes on every corner of you, crazy. you probably shouldn't be wheeling if you're not in complete control. And you get called a worm, I guess. Uh, it's new to me, but like that's a term. That's a You don't want to be called a worm. I can't imagine. That's not, <laughs> I can't imagine. No, I'd, I'd for real but like yeah. to do that, though. I would go to wherever it is. Like we could go to one of the Miami ride outs. Or Dallas. Dallas I think is big. The viewers Philly would love to see that. Philly, Philly would huge. be a good one. And then there's also Baltimore. <laughs> I think Baltimore <laughs> Evan, would probably Evan's been be waiting last. for this. Hey, Philly it is then. We'll we'll call up Zach. We could, Zach goes could totally hook us up. Our boy. Zach, you still ride, dude? <laughs> Crickets. I think he does. He just doesn't post it. Yeah. I mean, he rides every day. He's a definition of riding every day. Um, I remember when, when Ben and I were, like, 
really little. Um, Ben probably was in like third grade and I was probably in maybe fifth or sixth, whatever I would have been in at the time. And you remember the, the first time we saw like the 12 o'clock boy videos on YouTube? Yeah. That was like my first experience with YouTube. I was rattled because it was like all these guys in the city riding these dirt bikes with no helmets and just wheeling in and like the whole, they were the best wheelers I've ever seen at that time. And it, they were like the cops would get behind them and they just would keep wheeling and like they'd run from them. And I remember it just being like, what? I was mind blown. Both of us were mind blown. And we would watch those videos for hours and hours and hours. And uh, it kind of inspired us in a way. Yeah, for sure. Like, like we, we somewhat integrated them into our lives. Like if you watch like the earlier videos, we were totally like wheelie boys. Like we'd, we'd go to the streets and wheelie. We don't do it so much anymore. And, not because we're really scared of the consequence or anything. It's just we've just done it enough, and also we're not necessarily like. Well, I think it, yeah, you come to a, yeah, that. you come to a point where you're it either really interests you or it doesn't. It doesn't mean you don't like weed. Uh, I still yeah. I still really appreciate it. Yeah, and I'd like to do it in a different setting. I think that'd be fun. I probably wouldn't be throwing up these crazy wheelies when I got all these guys in a pack around me because I wouldn't want to take someone out in case something went wrong. But I would I'd be riding. I'd be riding with them. That'd be fun, dude. Yeah, that'd be super fun. That would fun. be cool. Fuck yeah. That'd be a great video. Yeah, That's for sure. Say, I would think love our that. viewers would really like that. I think if you're watching this right now and you want to see us head to Philly and, like, get on Do the street. Ride Zach goes. A even real like, ride out. up until you guys. I yeah, know. Even Zach goes has been saying this for years. Yeah, dude. But even I mean, really saying get that, there. like, gets the nerves up. Like, even just thinking about it. But, dude, yeah. It'd We'd be have so to. Fun. We'd have to. All We'd of put, us and Ryan would bring his quad. Whoa! Yes. Ryan would yeah. actually there's some be a dudes out there on the quad, on dude. the quads that are like, I mean, there's a lot of dudes out there. Wow, it's amazing. As long yeah. as Ryan had his tire pressure dialed in, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is whatever. important. When yeah. you're on the quad, well, my dude, biggest fear though is still like, can you imagine like you're out in Philly, you get separated from the pack, now you're just a dirt bike <laughs> in, the <middle laughs> in the middle of a city, you have yeah. nowhere to go, you have no idea what you're doing, the cops might be chasing you. Evan, That's there's, stressful. There's hundreds and hundreds of people. If you manage to get separated from that many people, you probably deserve to get caught. <laughs> Still scary to think about. Yeah, man. right, right on, right on. Yeah, that's that's like high consequence though, especially once. Is wh- it really though? Dude, what people, are you getting? People die like. It's no, like, oh, that, oh yeah, that. I, thought, I thought you were talking crime. I'm talking like, like I mean, like, if the police the stop you, okay, so you give your bike up, maybe they take you to jail. No, but they like, don't you stop get out. you. You run. Yeah. Well, right, yeah, you do that. You first. leave the bike on the road. Go. No panic. There's no stopping. You'd probably get away. Um, but that, that's I, dude. That is like a different lifestyle. You know, like picture those guys watching like our videos. You gotta understand. <laughs> ben gets pulled over for window tint. It's every two months. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying. And he doesn't never. even run, dude. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, <clears throat> those guys, how do you get so good at wheel? Like, you know how much time you have to put on a bike? Practice. Practicing to get that good at wheeling, like dropping back one hand, standing on the seat, like all this shit, right? And then you're doing it in the middle of town. Like, that's where you practice. You don't have, like, backcountry roads to practice on. And that, I think, is the huge the differentiation between people that are like, yeah, I like to wheelie my dirt bike, and I'm a wheelie boy. I think they actually have it's a knack crazy. for, like, a natural talent. Like, like if you're doing that shit, you, you obviously have to have some natural-born talent. Yeah. And the and best then time on top of that. To and the best of the best guys are, it's one thing to have it be like, yep, it's my favorite thing to do. No, it's not even like that. It's like life. That's my life. Yeah, right. I started when I was 10. Now I'm like, you know, whatever, 25. Been riding for on the streets, doing wheelies for 15 years. It's the only thing I like to do. It's the only thing I eat, sleep, and breathe. Yeah. At, at some point, we got to have Zach goes on this podcast. Like the amount of stories that guy's got is crazy. It's crazy. And when Zach came here, he was like, holy crap, you guys have just straight flat roads. How are you guys not amazing at wheelies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, every he, yeah, dude, he got a hard on every time. He, he's like, there's no cars to deal with, like nothing. There's no, there's not really any cops around here. Yeah, it was, it's literally just a different lifestyle. Yeah. But I could see you doing it, Evan. I could see myself doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you in there. So no, you do know how to do press it. the back brake then? 
I'm familiar. Nice. So, Evan, can you tell me what it's like removing asbestos, one of the most dangerous, like, it's not a chemical. What what what, what is asbestos? Well, tell, start start from the beginning. What your job is, because I mean, people don't know you that are listening. I mean, most people probably don't know you outside of just what is the tiny fraction that is showing of you on our videos. Yeah, I uh, I mean, I remove asbestos. Um, asbestos isn't it, it's a naturally occurring mineral that is used in building materials um, from like, like the '80s, right? 70s uh, earlier yeah it's like prior 1980 or something like that and it's literally could be like in anything like floor tiles sheetrock like literally like anything window caulk and then you uh and it's, if you, ca- it's cancerous yeah if you create dust with it um yeah it can Pretty cause dangerous. cancer so we have to uh safely remove it like hazmat suits and respirators and uh make the world safe for uh, all you other people that's crazy, dude. So you deal with that every single day. Yeah, it's actually pretty terrible. I hate it, but is that hey. does that worry you? Uh, no, because I'm probably gonna like pile myself up on the bike <laughs> or something before the cancer <laughs> can catch me. So don't say it's that, all man. good. Holy shit, Evan, I, that was I, yeah, insanely like, dark. Some about me also no, wants just... to tell you not to say that, but Evan, you'll you'll crack jokes about not just asbestos, but about that all the time. Evan's gonna be pissed if the asbestos gets <laughs> yeah, to take exactly. him out, dude. These airplanes are going to take me out before the asbestos does. Evan's over here removing asbestos every day, five days a, or five days a week, and and he's worried about hopping on an airplane. I mean, I'm in control of the asbestos. I'm not in control right. of that airplane. You're right. You're right. You're in control of it as best as you can be. As best as, best as, as you I'm can sorry. Be. I'm sorry. As best as you can. Had be. to. Yeah. So I mean, like, I, I guess random question, but like, what's the weirdest place you've ever had to remove asbestos? Like, is it literally just like abandoned buildings, or like, is it like offices or what? I feel no. like they wouldn't send them into abandoned. Oh, it's yeah, everywhere. Like they, I, I mean, guess. we'll be in like a hospital, like fully like emergency room and whatever, and like up above the ceiling tiles, there'll be a leaky pipe. With, like, asbestos on it. Like, it's, I mean, it's everywhere. Schools, like, okay. literally just any, any building that was built before 1980, like, could have asbestos in it. And you just hazmat up and go in there and take it down? Yep. And then throw it into trash yeah, bags like, and throw it away? It? Like, how, how do you ha- remove asbestos? Does uh, it go to the landfill? Yeah, I mean, it just goes to, like, a regulated landfill. Like, there's lots of uh, paperwork and... Regulated, regulated landfill where there just so happens to be fire burning or what no no asbestos doesn't burn seriously yeah i mean we do a lot of jobs with like burn down buildings but we got to go remove the asbestos because it's wow. still there that's super weird that's what? why they used it because it doesn't burn oh shit like fireproofing <laughs> it's made out of asbestos damn the, the, best the more you the know, bestest. I guess. How'd you get into that, Evan? My boss was like my neighbor, and I was about to graduate high school and uh, had no plan for my life, and he asked me if I needed a job, which I did. And then I started doing it, and I've been doing it for like 10 years now, and uh, I guess I'm just kind of stuck doing that, <laughs> paying the bills and go That's to work good. the next day. That's good. Yeah, so one might say you're a pro at it by now. Oh, definitely. Best, takes- best. There's asbestos. There's ever been. I'm picturing them at some, you know, like they're, you know, in Texas somewhere. Convention. Like this huge thing. Well, it's like this huge job. Evan and does like, a speech we gotta, up there. We got to call in Evan, <laughs> dude. Evan, bro. The only way this is getting removed is Evan. <laughs> Fly me out. I'll take care of it. Yeah. He's like climbing up the Pain wall. Spidey suit. He he's got off. a he's got a Spider Man suit, freaking hazmat suit. That I wouldn't be doubt dope, it, dude. Fuck it. I everything I've ever seen Evan do, I always think to myself, man, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, this guy is talented. <laughs> you could pretty much do anything you set your mind to. I'd say, Evan. I think anybody can do anything they set their mind to. You just gotta decide. Really? I mean. Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an idiot, yeah. don't even try. Yeah, some people suck at stuff, so then, yeah, they probably shouldn't even try. But, no, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Really? 
do you think everyone is like equal or you think there's just some straight up idiots in the world where it's like, man, you just got hit on the head with a hammer when you were a little kid and there's no coming back? Yeah, no, there's definitely people that are screwed there. They got no shot. Really? Yeah. I mean, don't you think that? No, I agree 100%. <laughs> like, who would be some of the people? <laughs> Dude. Ryan. <laughs> I, gonna, I thought you were talking about Ken. Jesus. <laughs> no. You guy's not even hey, here. Ken, I know, that's why. I'm, I'm kidding. We got him coming. All right. Take a tea break. All right, well, I just need to put a disclaimer down. This episode is 1,000% not sponsored by Twisted Tea. It's just sponsored by the good vibes of Evan and we'll the crew surrounding him. Evan, can you tell me wh- how you are not sponsored by Twisted Tea? It honestly blows my mind. Blows. Blows. You know what I think? I think Twisted Tea sucks. What? I know we're drinking it right now, but I just think Twisted Tea is is one of the worst brands. Oh, like as a company? Oh, sucks. I thought you meant. Oh taste. yeah, no, it, it's it's a terrible brand, but it, it, it's just so damn good. Evan, the only reason I drink Twisted Tea is when you're around. Otherwise, I think Twisted Tea is terrible, and I would not suggest buying it. Oh, yeah, I guess unless yeah. they decide to sponsor us, like then we, I think they should. I think you should, but. Yeah. But we will I, as far as our statements, as far as right until now, then, I would say Twisted Tea is overrated. But like we didn't mention that, like we knew what Twisted Tea was before we met you. But like straight up, didn't it drink became it. a thing. Did not once drink you it. met Evan. Like you guys all came back from the first Gold Creek trip, yeah. and you're like, "We got to get Twisted, Twisted tea. tea." And I was like, yeah. "What? Why?" <laughs> and then it was like, all of a sudden, ever since then, we've always had Twisted. Tea That's been the nectar. That yeah, it's super weird. And obviously, when you come. We're like, you got We gotta have teas for Evan, dude. It's a tea party. And then, uh, <laughs> Mike, you sound so good, and natural when you say that. And obviously, when you please come. don't make it sexual, please. You're the one talking about it, man. Yeah, you're the one. You're the one thinking about it sexual. Dude, the way you said it was just uh, dude, Evan. When you Mike, come, no, there's Evan. so much tea. Mike, when you when you, you licked your lips after that. <laughs> I just took a drink. Even just slide to right here. Feel free, man. I know he's wearing a tie dyed shirt right now. It's okay. You never know about this. Evan, stop. I'm I'm already hard. Oh my God. Yeah, you're wearing Um, sweatpants. I have officially reached delusional state. That's not good. That's not good, (laughs) dude. Well, Ben, why are you at delusional state? Tell us about your day because most people think you just fuck around all day. It's true. This wasn't even in the plan, but just tell, tell why you are. The way you are right now. How many hours have you worked today? What time did you wake up this morning? Six. You woke up at 6 a.m.? Started editing at like 6.30. Okay. What time did we finish? 7.30. Okay. So what is 13 that? hours. 13 hours right there. Then we went out to eat. I, I realistically, I think it was a little bit longer than that, but we'll say 6.30. It's, so not even, it's not even how much we've worked today. Like that's pretty standard. It's the it's, constant it's, it's build The up. constant how much we worked. Today, yesterday, the day before, and the lack of sleep I've been getting, and now it's like going on a trip in five hours, you so leave. I'm going to get like you four hours of sleep, and it's just like building up. And everyone thinks that you get to fuck around and just do whatever you want on a I daily mean, basis, which you are to doing a degree, to a degree. Yeah, but, but it's, either it's, way, fuck around or not, it still wears on you, you know, yeah. but there is, there, uh, a lot of people don't realize the work behind the scenes. Which I think, I, if you're not an idiot, you do, you know? Yeah. Well, but, I think it's easy to be, uh, you know, Well, you I mean, you don't realize it if you're not in this world. Yeah, but to be fair, like, you kind of want them to think that it's all, like, sunshine and Right, rainbows, exactly. You right? lead that, that on. That's so what's you don't entertaining. That's what people want to see, right? When they get mad that you don't post two or three videos yeah. a week. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just, like, honestly fucking exhausted. <laughs> Right, and that's why we we actually just recent. Well, actually, I have one thing to say about that. You you know what I have to say about that, Ben? What? <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> if you wanna oh. rock and roll, honestly, that one came out of nowhere. I did yeah, not. Yeah, how the that. fuck did you? You really are tired left, of your falling for that. Out of left um, field, man. So it's like when you get John Cena. <laughs> it <laughs> is. We actually just hired our our very first employee last week. And now we're we're testing out Samick back there. He's he's behind the cameras, but for like just helping out with editing, filming, um, all that shit. He has he has kind of a background in that. Uh, we're trying to relieve the workload, which will 
um, allow us to just allow you to make make more more videos. videos. Yeah. yeah, it's more so uh, do the thing that you do best. Yeah, that's the goal. So one step at a time. Take one right. step at a time. <laughs> so right now that's you gonna, are exhausted. You're going to have your theme song, and that's going to be my theme song. You don't need to rush. It's like learning to fly. I think I mean, we're at 15 I'm hours, not. though, today. 15-hour work day. <laughs> the worst Roughly. part was I wasn't even picking up what song I it was. Know. I know. I'm like, dude. Evan's looking I still at don't me. know. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> well, that, Who sings it? Avraline Vadine or Avralina Vadine? Avril 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 Levine? Avril Levine. I'm sorry. He was actually an uh, LLC Skater as boy? a kid, which Skater. is nothing wrong Skater? with that, but he had to. Uh, you had an LLC as a kid? No, I was an S Corp. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was it when you're like, you, what? you didn't know how to read, so they had to like pull you out of the class and like. Special ed? <laughs> I did have that. No, yeah, well, I did is have there that. a name for that, though? And I don't know if you're making a joke out of that. No, or I'm not. I'm saying that. that's all right. That, that people have that. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's... And you it, were a part yeah. of that. Yeah, but I... It still kind of shows they did you're a making shitty a ass j- job of teaching you, but... I feel like you're making a joke out of it. I'm this. not. I'm just telling the truth. Can we get a raise of hands here? Does it feel like a joke? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Nobody raised their hand besides Ben. I mean, you can't fix stupid. That's the main thing. But uh, did you say LLC? I thought you said LLC. No, I said S Corp. <laughs> My gosh, Jesus! <laughs> I, I did say LLC. I don't know why. I don't even know what it was called. It was some kind of learning thing. It was like a separate <laughs> class, and you got to go there, and they helped you. But it doesn't matter whether you're in it or not. It doesn't matter. It I, turns I, out I, I, it's good to be in it. I'd say. Yeah, like you learned how to read eventually. I well, wouldn't say it's Ben's good to a be poor in example. It. You can't really teach him. <laughs> you think it's good to be in it? Slow and steady. I mean, wins the at race. least you're getting help. That's wouldn't true. you agree? Yeah, no, for sure. At least you can like say your R's and stuff. Evan, I got a juicy question for you, man. Uh-oh. Juicy. You know. Um here in this the what what century are we in? Twenty first or twenty second? I think twenty third. <laughs> no, it's two thousand what? Two thousand twenty one? Something well, like yeah. that. But is it actually the 21st or would it be the 22nd? It, it'd be the 21st. <laughs> Ken just holds up a one. J- Jamie's giving me the... It's okay, so Evan, we're living in the 21st century right now. Um, it's a wild time to be alive, quite frankly, especially in the digital age. From your standpoint, what's your thoughts on, I mean, Bitcoin, <laughs> Ethereum, oh <my> gosh. NFTs... <laughs> The build up. What what do you think about it? Um, can you ask the question in English, please? <laughs> that is about as most basic as I can possibly ah, get behind it. I am so far out of touch with any of that uh cryptocurrency okay. uh investing. Like What's I usually your... spend my money instead of investing it. Smart. <laughs> we do too. <laughs> do you um <clears throat> Do you know what an NFT is? Bro, I don't. No. I don't. Have you ever heard <laughs> Do you of it? Know what it stands well, for? Well, I don't expect you NFT? to. NFT? Yeah. Uh, no fucking thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so get this. Get this. Good. I don't know if we can disclose this. We'll maybe just cut it out if if we if not. But I want it. So our our new employee, Samick, <laughs> he is very involved in like the crypto space, NFTs, the digital age, quite frankly, just the whole broad thing. But he bought an NFT for two thousand dollars, right? A fucking NFT for two thousand. Can you explain the <laughs> NFT? First? It's like a fucking digital <laughs> picture. Okay, okay. Actually, I have heard about this. Right. It don't make sense. He bought this this NFT for two thousand dollars. It was so, half an ETH at the time, but right now it'd be about two thirds. So he ETH. spent half of Ethereum on it, which is two thousand dollars USD currency. And right now, he bought that two months ago. Guess guess what that NFT is worth right now? Just just throw a number out. Ten thousand dollars. Sixty thousand dollars. He made fifty eight thousand dollars in two th- two well, months. Cash out and buy some freshies. Let's go riding. You know, <laughs> that's exactly what I expected to say, Evan. I asked him. I said, "Did you sell it?" And he goes, "No, I'm holding it." So he's still holding on to this this digital thirty two bit picture of this fucking fish or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, I don't want to like I don't want to like expose you too much, but it, it's just this picture and and it's he made fifty eight k and Samick is. 
I mean, anyone could have technically done that. So anyone do you have to have. bid on that, or is it just like lo- timing that you? Get I think that? he I got mean, relatively lucky, but also he put himself in the right spot at the right time because he did the he did the work and he listens and he he stays up to date. He does research. I've I've been asking about it the past two days. He's been staying with us and and kind of just following us around, getting a feel for things uh, and how how things go around here. And we've been just getting to know each other and and. I mean, holy shit! I've never heard of such a gain. I've never fifty-eight k in two months. Yeah, that, that's, that's like that's bizarre. what people make in in the whole year. I mean, he did say he's bought in a couple other NFTs or whatever, and uh, and and like those ones just stayed where they're at. They stay where that. What? What's I'm so just. Funny? I don't know. I don't know. Just, ben starts laughing. How am I gonna keep a straight face? I'm just face? thinking about Evan. Like comprehending this, this. Oh, right, Evan. but you just, you say Evan is like okay, okay how many Evan. e's did he spend on this nft your description of said <laughs> like nft money. was like how i when you were like i don't know some fish or whatever the fuck it is <laughs> that is like every nft to me i'm like yeah i don't know some jingle some mp3 <laughs> went for like 50k well that's what i that's mean just, yeah i mean I, I honestly don't know much about NFTs. I'd like to learn more, but also at the same time, it's hard for me to get behind it because realistically, I just don't care about fucking, like, I would never spend a lot of money on a picture to put on the wall, so why the fuck would I spend a lot of money on a picture that is, like, a digitalized, 32-bit, low-quality picture but for some reason, it I don't think it's the point. I don't think it's. I don't think it's, Sam Mick was like, "Man, I love this fish." No, me he, and this fish have a connection. I think it's all investment based, right? But I just don't. I, and I mean, holy I, I'm fucking shit! Can happy we sell that you. pelican as an NFT? I'm sure you could. I'm sure we could. Should I don't we? think any of our we? fucking. Uh, listeners are trying to spend like a lot of money on that though. All Maybe right. we don't charge a lot of money for it. We're gonna <laughs> sell we one digital asset of this pelican for a hundred thousand dollars. Jesus, Oof. count me the. F- <laughs> out. I'll well, take Mike, it. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I won't even sell for hundred k. Evan's like, after That's the, listening to your guys' description of NFTs, Evan and, just yeah, found out NFT. Based off of everything I've heard in the last four minutes, this is the best financial decision <laughs> I've ever made. Do you have any stocks, Evan? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> A fucking corn stock. Evan maybe. lives on the edge, baby. <laughs> Evan's like, I got a stock pit bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing stock he's got. Yeah. I will say though, like I am questionable about the NFTs. I do probably think they are gonna be something just because I look at the people that are behind it. Yeah. Um and and for me to be questionable about it is is relatively ironic because I was very bullish on Bitcoin. Back in fucking the very early days, 2016, 2017, uh, back when it was fucking $4,000. If I would have had that like enough money to invest in that, I probably would have bought some back then, but I, I just flat out didn't. Um, but then when it hit 12000 you probably would have sold. Yeah, exactly. Realistically, <laughs> yeah. I would have flipped it. So it's uh, like whenever, man, I wish I would have I wish I yeah. bought There's back no then. Way. It's so hard. Right, to, dumbass yeah. would have sold. Yeah, I would have sold um, too. But... I, I uh it is interesting hearing about like the NFT space and I'm just gonna milk Samic, our new uh our new employee for everything he's got. Samic's back there like I don't know if I have much more to give you, man. <laughs> he's like, Listen, man, I just got lucky on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's gotta be a strategy, Samic. <laughs> Tell me, what'd you do? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean that was just one of them. You spend two thousand bucks on any investment though. It's kind of high risk, high reward. But that's especially the life we live. Yeah, for Everything sure. Everything we do. For sure. Unless you're spending two thousand dollars on Bitcoin and then the next day it drops twenty five percent. You wanna know like the fact of the matter is though, you could be like Ken and invest fucking a hundred bucks into like a crypto coin. <laughs> watch it all day. And, like watch, watch it, all, it day. all day. All right, but I listen, think I'm ready. Or you could be like you could be like Samic and put two grand in. Fortune favors the bold, yeah, and that's why Sam came out on top. It's a beautiful thing. It is. It that's is. that's the American way. Fortune favors the bold, ladies and gentlemen. And on that note, I can't believe we're still talking about talking about cryptocurrency but, but with that's Evan here. A, that's a broad thing, though. That's no, a broad thing. absolutely. But Evan like, is a <laughs> is a fucking bold motherfucker. He hits big jumps and does oh, all this crazy shit on the bikes. And and Evan, uh, I 
I tell you what. I don't do this for a lot of people, but I like you. So I'll do it for you. Oh, I will be your financial advisor. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, I think you'd better off have like a kindergartner <laughs> telling you where to put your money. Actually, though, at least you'd have some luck and some that chance incredibly there. incredibly offensive. Oh, but man, so accurate. So, true. so oh. you don't you don't foresee yourself ever, ever dropping a couple of E on NFTs? Oh, no, I could. I picture myself dropping many E. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to do this bit. I want to do this bit. We're going to get off the the fucking crypto bull, crypto shit. Bullshit. It's not bullshit. <laughs> it's just stuff. Wait, one more question on that though. Who the picture that gets sold? Yeah. Can anyone sell a picture? <clears throat> Basically, yeah. yeah. But yeah. people want to buy it. You have to have someone. It's like anything. You could sell if a there's fucking a demand, can, yeah. but you need yeah, someone that wants to like, buy it. All right, whatever. It don't make sense, but I. It, it really doesn't. I mean, well, what's just, the utility behind it? I don't just know. Just boil it down as if it was a tangible object, right? So if there was 10,000 of these cans and across the board, somebody valued them at $2,000. I don't know who, but that's what the market says. <laughs> I don't even fucking. I don't. Oh, man. I think I just realized. I don't even so understand funny. NFTs. Ben's this is so idiot. funny though. Like, yeah, I mean, and I don't either. So, like, I. That's why I haven't been speaking about it. But it's no, hard to no. explain. So, so all all of these cans get bought right for two thousand dollars. Well, then there's more people that want to buy them. So then the people that bought them at two thousand dollars are like, hey, I'll sell it to you for thirteen thousand dollars. Well, someone's like, well, I'll buy it for thirteen thousand dollars, thinking that next week it's going to be worth thirty thousand. So it continues. Right, so now now artists are doing it for like music, like Tory Lanez yeah. dropped NFT album, so he's dropping like one dollar per song, right? And then he sells a million songs. I mean, all I'm saying is, can I like just sell some wheelie pictures? And yeah, like yeah, you can if you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, somebody has to buy it. Hook some, me up with what? <laughs> Money, I guess. <laughs> no, no, e, no. E. You don't really need <laughs> you money. You've seen a you picture. Give you got the some e. of that E. <laughs> you give me the E. I spend Evan's the E. Like, where can I? Where can I get some of that? E? <laughs> I know that, that's the first thing I was like, this, this yeah. is getting a sketchy here. <laughs> where, where do I get it? Um. <laughs> so, a question or a statement? <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, put in our notes. He wanted us to ask you some, like, some. Explain that, Graham. Explain that, Graham. Graham of what? (laughs) (laughs) Instagram, Evan. Instagram! Explain my Instagram? Like, certain pictures. (laughs) Yeah, what's it all about? I think people... Bro, have that you are listening so to this, many posts right now, dude. People that are listening to this have no idea who we have talking to them right, right? now. I mean, that's just being flat out honest. You're an ins- very interesting guy. Very uh, um, dynamic, I would say. Like, you, you've been around the block. You, you know a thing or two about a lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, just I, love how, I love how broad you're being right now. Uh, he does. I think that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. To no, you do. I'm not sure if it was a, a compliment, but no, it sounded I, I nice. mean that actually. Yeah. It's a nice thing. Like, you, you just, you just, you fucking. Like, if I like, told you some crazy situation that happened to me, you'd probably be like, oh, yeah, one time that happened to me, and, like, this is what I did. Like, honestly, I'm just telling you, like, you you would probably yeah. have an answer. There have been some places. Like in, and some I'm things. not saying you would say it as, like, a breaking way. You'd just be like, I, like, this is, this is how it happened, and, like, this is what happened. You know, you would, you would tell me how to handle it. Yeah. Like, I feel like you're able to bring something to any situation. It, it might not be the same thing. Might be some words of wisdom. It might be uh, words shit. of learning from a mistake. It might be physical labor, but you're able to bring probably usually a laugh though. All right, Evan. I uh, so I've been told in the notes to you know express explain the gram Instagram just to be clear because you know I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Since when were you a golfer? Oh, <laughs> I mean, you I, look like our golfing videos there. Do. Dude, my, my parents have a house on a golf course, so I actually grew up golfing. We should start calling you Country Club Evan. Dude, it was a country club. I mean, I just, uh, I wasn't really cut out for golf. I'm a little 
like high right. strong. No, and no like, shit. I, I have a hard time believing that. Yeah, I need to be like, I don't know. Golf's just too slow. The I carts don't know. aren't fast enough for you. No, it's just not quite, not quite on pace with what I what I like to do. I still enjoy playing once in a while, but it's not my cup of tea. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. So is it like? Is it cool though? Like if That's we pretty good, dude. So if we do rip a reckless golfing three, would you come? Oh, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> if, even if you don't invite me, I'm showing up. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> CJ, you missed that one, bro. Yeah, I did. Oh. Mike, Would you what, join why us? Why do you like that? I don't. I don't like it. Why you? <laughs> why am I like, like that? You were asking for it? Are you trying to give some hidden message to him live on the fucking podcast? Fuck. D- uh, again. <laughs> what the fuck, Mike? Again. All right, listen, Evan. Uh, we're gonna forget about Mike and his sexual <laughs> ideas, his um, sexual agenda. He's trying to listen, press over here, Evan. You know, we've had plenty of friends come up to us and want to be involved in the reckless golfing. Uh, I, I'm not going to say names, but I am slightly <laughs> worried. Because we turn them down. No, it's no. not that we turn them down. It's because they, they want to be involved in reckless golfing three, which is inevitable. It's going to happen. I am worried because of the way things evolve. If you're somebody who, who works an, a job and is like you're you're employed by somebody... And they get to, like, fucking, you know, maybe decide some things for you. We're more than likely getting hauled out of that. In Reckless Golfing 3, we are going to be hauled out of there by the cops. Like, we might be going to jail. We might be, like, I mean, realistically, we're probably going to get in trouble. Like, big trouble, I would imagine. Well, you guys got to have a good lawyer, don't you? Ah, a retainer, Evan, like, listen, ready to go? It, the, oh, it's not even not. about that. He's the best. Realistically, like, we're just going to wear it. But it's like we we get to wear it. It's kind of part of it. I just don't want you to have to like deal with repercussions. Are you okay with that? Oh, I'm I'm fine with that. All right, then fuck it. You're coming with. Come on. You said I like to live dangerously. You do. You, you do. Would you, I, I really think reckless golfing would be extremely reckless if you come. <laughs> do you think you would get on my go? You, you think you're? <laughs> <laughs> that like almost. <laughs> Bro, I definitely missed it. <laughs> I feel so left out. It's what happened? No, I'm yeah, not gonna repeat it. it. Yeah, hey, it's... Evan's gonna uh, join us in Reckless Golfing Three. I'm not coming. <laughs> but I also want Cody to come <laughs> and Justin Hansen. <laughs> I'm just worried about like them being so in the paper Mike. and getting in trouble. <laughs> I know Mike wants Evan to come, but all I'm saying, like I, I know you guys don't give a fuck because you just that's just how you are. But I just don't want you to get in trouble when you, your name's in the paper and then your boss Jeez, is like they put in the paper. <laughs> your boss is like, hey man, Whoa, CJ, hey how man, hard who are we reads going? the paper? paper? <laughs> Reckless golfing three is going to be a fucking. <laughs> it's movie, going to be, dude. No, it's going to be. Crazy. I do, I, lo- I do love that your your mental I'm on, preparation I'm ready for, it. for it. Yeah. No, because like I wasn't. I was ready I, for it. on Reckless golfing too. I was ready no, to have. The I'm cops ready come. for it, but yeah, like I wasn't ready for the cops to come until number four. But like, if they come number three, dude, I'm in. <laughs> I want all the cops to come. <laughs> I feel like Jesus. <laughs> of course you want all the cops coming, Mike. Jesus, dude. Jesus. Holy. This is bad. We got to cut this shit. Mike's getting horny. <laughs> that would be the greatest intro to a movie we shouldn't talk about. <laughs> We're getting reckless go. And all the cops We're come. getting all the cops to come. <laughs> Oh my strong channel, buddy. My. Oh. Uh, there was one picture that I wanted to talk about. First off, I didn't know you used to have a Ford fucking Ranger. Of course. I, I and you, don't how did you that. load the snowmobile oh in backwards gosh. and then put the track up on the roof? I mean, David was there. He helped me. We just. You just pulled it right on in there. I mean, <laughs> I, how do you load a snowmobile on the roof? You just get it up there. <laughs> that is kind of one of those things. Like, there is no good way to do that. You no, we just yeah, that. we just pulled it on up. <laughs> like, do you think you'd want to stand up right now? Dude, <laughs> right can, I, I will get this guy stand up. <laughs> right, 
Jesus, all right. I'm surprised. Okay. All right. Well, dude, I'm just making, dude, because if I had a boner, then you guys, all your shit would be valid. But I, do, I have to ask you, Evan. Like, I straight up can't see you behind this leaning tea of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, I'm like straight up like, like watching you. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn it, dude. That was, that was a. We worked for 45 minutes on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, sorry to. <laughs> I just got tea all over Evan. That was a fully. Um, so it's currently eleven, twelve at night. I I I want to ask you. Okay, so one of the first times Evan like hung out with us at the shop, he goes, "I got I got to We got to watch this movie. We got to watch this documentary together. Like it's super good. And you know, anyone will say that. I'm like, sure, dude. I love documentaries. It's kind of a hidden gem. And we rip, uh, yeah, a video that I would never have came across probably ever any of us. And it's called Carts of Darkness. How did you come across that? And, like, why, why is it, like, you guys just have to watch it, but, like, it's phenomenal. It's just, like, how you come across anything on YouTube. It literally just popped up, and I, it was, the thumbnail was, like, a dude riding a shopping cart down a hill. Like, <laughs> of course, I'm going to click on it. Like, yeah, let's check yeah. it out. And then, I mean, just the first, like, minute, the intro is really intriguing. Like, this guy, like, blows his leg out, like, crashes into a <laughs> truck or something. <laughs> so, like, in the first, yeah, 30, 40 seconds, it sucks you right in. And then, I mean, I just decided to watch it about 100 and something times after that and share it with all my friends. And well, you, every time it's, you're it's here, amazing. You, no, it's, time. It's, like your, it's like your good night uh, lullaby where mm -hmm. you can't fall asleep without it. Oh, exactly. Yeah, it's it's, it's a nightcap. <laughs> Every time I come in in the morning, it goes. It's like, are you still watching? Carts of darkness. Carts of darkness, dude. I mean, it's actually like it. We, you've probably literally watched it over a hundred times. Yeah, I'd say right around a hundred, probably. I mean, I've started it a hundred times. Evan, <laughs> Evan, Ben. <laughs> Do you want us? To try and get you in Carts of Darkness too. I mean, yes. If that means that you guys come up to Duluth and we steal a bunch of shopping carts and ride them down the hills, I'd be honored. Then yes, I want to be no. part of Carts of Darkness. Carts of Darkness too. Create, create carts of Darkness. Filmed, filmed darkness and produced too. by Sea Boys TV. We're not even in it. Just Evan. Carts a bunch of, of Darkness. <laughs> Six point nine. A bunch of homeless people in Evan. Yeah, I was gonna say a little bit of a premise. The the. Guys who bomb the hills on carts, they, the way they make their living is collecting bottles. So we we have to do a little bit of that too. Yeah, I don't, it's a very fascinating it film. Really but also, is. it is slightly hard to watch at, at the start. Like for you, for some reason, it, it intrigues you and gets you. It gets high viewer <laughs> retention. It sucks you in. It, it hooks you exactly what every YouTube video Bro. wants to do. But for me, it's almost like oh, this is okay. Hard I to watch. feel. I just remember when you explained it. You're like, yeah. It sounds dumb, but watch the first two minutes. You'll be hooked. I've probably seen it like 30 times. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a good video. I'm just saying it is at first. You got to get over the hump. What else do you watch on YouTube, Evan? Sea Boys TV mainly. And uh, Cops. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all sweaty, bro? Sorry, I was just watching Cops. Evan, do you ever like show? Uh, is it, I mean, you got a very nice girlfriend now. But like, do you ever... Uh, before that, or maybe even when you picked up your current girlfriend, did you ever like bring her home and just be like, "Hey, uh, let's let's watch some Sea Boys TV," and you click like like a video that has you starring in it? <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> one of the million view videos. Allegedly, I've played that video. Many did it times. help you? Which one? Pro like the ice one. That was a good one. Right, <laughs> that one did. That one did. Otherwise, the, job. the gold, the gold creek one. Yeah, I mean, might get home from the bar, maybe just throw just that throw it on. on and you're yeah. like, oh, is that is that on? What? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't know they were playing <laughs> yeah. that. Oh tonight. shit! I'm oh, in is this that me? <laughs> <laughs> when she's in the bathroom, you flick it on. You like you like candles. Hide the remote. <laughs> <laughs> Set the mood, Evans. <laughs> Laying there on a. Oh, what the fuck a, am I doing on the TV? Oh, what does that say? A couple million views. Dang. <laughs> so, so did it work? That's the that's the main part of it. Did it help? Do you think, or did it hurt? I mean, I think I was getting it either way, but I think it helped. <laughs> <Evan>. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence is unparalleled. I mean, I wouldn't doubt you there. I wouldn't doubt you there, Evan. So, Evan, you're a northerner, right? Would you consider yourself a northerner? True. 
You live in northern Minnesota. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. But anyone north of me, I consider a northerner, and I feel south. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, am I northern to you? Probably. Okay. Probably more east than anything, but... All right, we don't have to get too specific here. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, in, I'm insanely entertained by the Snapchats that you send us just of your weekend shenanigans. It's, it's the things that I wish the internet could see. But you just like you just keep them to yourself and you just hold them up. But occasionally, they'll hit your Instagram feed, right? So I'm I'm very curious as to what was this guy? Is this guy okay? Let's start out with that. Is this guy okay? I'll show. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's my buddy Kyle. <laughs> Shout out to Kyle. He uh, busted up a few ribs on that one. He uh, borrowed his dad's four wheeler, probably with <laughs> without permission. We were young there. We were like Holy eighteen, fuck, 19. Bro. Yeah, he got bodied. Dude, we had got all uh, liquored up and <laughs> went back to the old climbing hill, and yeah, he, <laughs> he piled. Oh around. no! I think that was the last time he ever rode his dad's wheeler, though. Uh, <clears throat> that's my favorite thing, bro. He put the foot down like it was a break. Yeah, like no, he hand. he gave it a good run. He just, I mean, that's what happens. That was a big hill. That's my favorite thing is like up north when you guys when you guys aren't getting too liquored up, you're on bikes, and then you're like, yeah, when we're really when we're really drinking, we get we get on the wheelers. Oh to yeah, keep you ride the safe. wheelchairs, yeah. <laughs> wheelchairs when you're drinking <laughs> to keep it safe. Yeah, <laughs> to keep it safe. Bro, I was like, I went up there to visit for one weekend, and you guys. Did more crazy shit than we do on a weekend. Yeah, you I guys wrote, should really consider getting a YouTube channel. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I just do the things, not 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 the right, not the smart. filming and the editing well, and the maybe. and yeah. the making money part. I don't know how to do that. Right, people have been trying to snatch you up though, haven't they? I mean, there's been a few. Uh, I don't know what the word is. Uh, Inquiries? Inquiries. There we go. What do they uh, try to do? I mean, uh, I don't know. We just kind of talk about it, and then, I don't know, we just... Try to make a video. The stars don't align. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, you try to make a YouTube video, or what? I guess I've never really tried to make a YouTube video. I mean, like, I've a few times, like, go to, like, do shoots and stuff and whatever, and and that's all cool, and it, it works out good, but, like... I don't know. A lot of this stuff that happens is like spur of the moment. You know right. what I mean? Like you can't plan a shoot, but then like, I mean, Make shit the cool stuff it. that happens yeah. is yeah. just like when it happens, you can't plan that like stuff. So it's like, it's like you need like what you guys have, like you guys have your crew and you're like always just like on the same page all the time. We do a good job of making like, uh, we set up a, uh, an environment, an environment for mayhem yeah like if that's you're a great down, way to put and it and then have we, a camera set up an environment rolling. for uh where, where you're gonna thrive in and where we're all gonna thrive in and and then that's when we're rolling the cameras because we know like we want to like make this good and we want to make it entertaining what could we do to possibly make this uh stand out from the rest you know and it's like when you deliberately try and you like you know, really make it a thing. Like we make it very natural. Like you don't. Yeah, you, you can't. When you show it. up, you show up. You don't. You don't know what's going on. You don't care. Like you just, we're just hanging out. Mm-hmm. But like maybe we're like, oh, we're gonna like go do this really quick. But just like that little thing steers us in the direction for uh, a great video. What makes you know? what makes you so entertaining is the fact that you don't have to think about that. You don't have to think about is somebody getting this shot. Or what am I saying you after? Just do your thing. Or, or how do I set this up? And there's people that are so entertaining, and then as soon as they have to be like the producer of it, it like eliminates Ruins it. Yeah, it just takes away like the the entertainment factor of the, what made that person special, right? Not saying that you don't you couldn't do that, obviously, <clears throat> but I'm just saying you thrive best when we're just like Devin, hit that jump, bro, and you're like. Okay, you don't have to think about it. You just do it. We we film it. And Half the time, we're not even trying to, like, film it. It's just you're doing it. I'm just trying to fucking pop the battery in, in order to get it real yeah. quick. And yeah, the, and the thing is, is, like, back home, I mean, we're not filming, like, you're just doing anything it for ever. Fun. Like, just do it for fun. You do would it be for that little rush or whatever. For the hell of it. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that's why I think 
it always comes off so good because we really are doing doing it for fun. Like I'll look back on, you know, one of our most viewed videos is, is the thumbnails is me on the shifter cart and you on the dirt bike. That is a sick. Was that not a fun picture, day? Photo, whatever. Was that not a well, fun yeah, day? Yeah, the whole day was amazing, but just even that thumbnail is a is crazy. So sick. It's um, cool too because that's not photoshopped at all. Like a lot of times, if you have two vehicles right like away. that, you'd have to Photoshop it together. It'd be very hard to capture two things sideways, moving that fast, moving fast, and in in focus. But that was, dude. That the How, stars aligned on that one. I don't know why. I just look back on like that that like time era. It was like we were grinding, and like shit was blowing up. But also, we were having so much fun. Like like we went out. On the lake that day, we did all this crazy shit. We came back after being on the ice all day, hopped in the hot tub. Then right from the hot tub, we hopped in a limo and drove to Fargo and went like downtown, got all hammered and shit, and drove back. It was just a blast. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't? I mean, I no. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'm mistaken I, another day. I, <laughs> <laughs> what did we do that day? <laughs> CJ was so confident. No, I, was like, I was like, yep, that was a good oh, day. Yeah, I'm not trying to be that guy, but I'm just saying I have never been to Fargo with you guys. What? Short of to the airport to pick up a uh, homie that oh, does rap. Maybe not. Maybe Damn. that was a different day. Though. I mean, I'm sure we went somewhere else and got drunk, but not <laughs> yeah, Fargo. Like, yeah. uh, but all I know is that either way, it Sorry. was great. Sorry. Either yeah. way, I'd say there's so many good times when times. you come here that what like it's hard to keep straight, honestly. Either way, man, that was the best. I'm excited for this winter to get back on the thin ice. We have been on our two-a-week grind. We always pick it up in the fall because we just, uh, I don't know. Don't have as many distractions. Don't have as it's many not distractions. summer, yeah. yeah. And uh, we just get dialed in. We're, we're all about it. I mean, we always are all about it, but, but you everyone... need to pace yourself because you're going to fucking burn out if you're just constantly putting in days like today, per se. Yeah, and we've we've said this before, but like everyone leaves in the fall, like there's no one around. And so you can guess get, what we get you to can do? Kind of do your own thing. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Like especially in the winter when there's like actually no one around, we kind of get to make our own rules. Right. Exactly, man. Well, Evan, appreciate you coming on, man. I uh, I can't I can't wait to see the video footage of whatever the fuck you managed to do on your dirt bike in Gold Creek. We'll be it's not his that. dirt bike though. Hey. It's a rental. Dude, oh, I have yeah. you never should, had a rental bike. Have you ever thought before? about I'm just, gonna fuck it up? Yeah, <laughs> do shit. it. Do it, Evan. Holy you should. Shit. Ghost it's ride our, that bitch. No, oh jeez. It's, it's our name on the line. I don't give this a fuck. Okay, but I'm at least gonna Ghost scrape that fender off. Oh yeah. At the that's, very that's at fine. the yeah. bare minimum, we might be Evan, on the hook for a fender. Ride it till it's fucking till the bolts till the wheels fall off. Till the wheels fall off. Dude, I'm also looking forward to the videos that aren't on a bike. We can capture any of those. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys will be hitting up, maybe possibly collabing with Grindhard Plumbing. Oh yeah, they're yep. a huge channel. If you if you don't know who they are, but they kill it. They do the most insane builds. Shout out to those guys. They're they're awesome. Wait, so I might get to drive a Barbie Jeep. You I might. Hope so Evan, and we get to stay at David's for the first time ever too. It's gonna be I can't crazy. Wait to get it's drunk at David's. Can't wait yeah, to burn dude, that like, place down, dude. Dude, but, yeah. David dude, built a house on top of a mountain, and it's fucking sick. Yo, and he never lets us stay there, so. Let's not spoil it for the video, though. Right. Let's let's cut it here. We've had a great podcast. Oh, what did we just film? <laughs> Realistically, just the boys talk. This really wasn't much of like. This I don't, I don't is, know this is the hardest I've laughed in a while. It was a blast. Was this is like, an easy one. That was so fun. Easy. Nothing so but entertaining. Fun. So entertaining. Yo, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see Hi, you next Slim. Time. Peace. Slim. Oh, shout out, Slim. Let's go. Slim. See you, Slim. See you, Steve. Peace.